All right, uh, so I'm going to show you how to use Crossover for Mac. This time I'll run Sigma Photo Pro, the PC version, and the thing with Crossover is that you don't need to install XP. You can run some of the softwares on the PC directly uh, on the Mac, and it's using something Linux X11, I don't know what it's in, in the bottom here, I think it's a Wine thing. Anyways, here it is. This is uh, Sigma Photo Pro is running and uh, I didn't do anything more than just install it and it works more or less directly. Uh, so here we have some pictures, the DP1 pictures from a wedding now. Um, I also have these on my website. Uh, I think I will give you the raw files, some of these to play around with. Uh, so why use Sigma Photo Pro PC version on the Mac? Yeah, the thing is that it's faster. And this is not as fast as running XP uh, like with a VMware and running Sigma Photo Pro that way. But it's uh, definitely faster than Sigma Photo Pro for Mac. So the native version of uh, Sigma Photo Pro is slower than running an emulated version or I don't know what to call this. Uh, but this is totally okay. This is uh, more or less real time, and uh, you can also see how I, you know, drag the color adjustments here. And it it works pretty nice. See here if I can save an image. I haven't tried that part yet. Save source and uh, put them in my documents. No, I will put them on my local hard drive, which should be okay. Uh, this is not like the most simple system to use. It sometimes uh, is a little bit slow. And um, I can put it on the desktop here. That's nice. All right. So let's do this in TIFF. Chip. Oh, I made it for large prints. So now it's 18 megabit. Oh, yeah. Whatever. So it's working. And yeah, this is not bad, is it? It's pretty good. And here we have the picture. See if it works okay. Yeah, here it is. All right. So this is the little test of uh, Sigma Photo Pro running in X11 mode with the crossover. Instead of on the PC, I run it on a Mac. Bye-bye.